Hi, I'm Ernie, one of the musical instrument repair technicians at NEMC, and this is a short instructional video to help you determine whether you should send your instrument into our repair facility to have work done. One of the commonest problems on trumpet is a stuck mouthpiece. The child will take the mouthpiece, stick it into what's called the receiver, and tap on it. Sometimes the child will be a little too exuberant with the tap. Please, please, if the mouthpiece is stuck, do not take a pair of pliers, as some parents have tried to do, and twist the mouthpiece out. What can happen is that you can actually disconnect the lead pipe from the instrument, causing a major and costly repair on something that we could have taken care of very quickly and easily in our shop with no damage to the instrument. Check to make sure that there are no open braces at any place in the instrument. If the braces are open, we, you need to send it in so we can resolder them properly. Also check to make sure that the slides work freely. If the slides work freely, it's not a problem. If the slides are stuck, please send it in our, to our repair facility so we can take care of the issue and lubricate the slides properly. Check for dents. Any dents up here are cosmetic, by the bell floor are cosmetic. If there are dents in the valve casing, which will prevent the valve from going up and down, or dents in the lead pipe, we need to take care of them because that will impede the airflow through the instrument. Sometimes the kids will take the valves out of the musical instrument and not put them back in their proper place. Please check to make sure that the valves, which are numbered 1, 2, and 3, are in their proper position. The proper position is the 1 or the lowest number valve being closest to the mouthpiece, and 3 being closest to the bell flare. Other things that kids sometimes do is when they take the valve out to oil it, they'll put the valve out and not rotate it until it locks in place. If you don't look, rotate the instrument, rotate the valve, what can happen is that the ports in the valve do not line up with the ports in the valve casing, and that will prevent air from flowing through the instrument. If the valves are in the proper place and the valves are locked in place, no air goes through the instrument. It needs to be sent into our facility. Something that also happens on trumpet is that the kids will take the instrument, put it in their case, throw their method book on top, and slam the case shut. What can happen is that the second valve will get stuck because they bent what is called the, slide, the second valve slide down. At any time, you should never put anything on top of your musical instrument in the case. But that, this is one that's particularly in common to trumpets. What could happen is the valve gets bent, and we need to take care of that in our facility. Another thing to look for is to make sure that the water keys are actually there. A trumpet has two water keys, and if the water keys are there, make sure the springs are working properly, and also make sure that the little rubber pad is in place. If the rubber pad is missing, which sometimes happens, they can fall out, or sometimes the kids pick them, pick them out, we need to send it to our facility to be repaired. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.